Welcome to the Microwave Medic. This is Jim Hoffman, your EMS Tips Chef, and I'll be giving you some quick tips on a variety of topics that you can use right now as an EMS provider that are sure to be the recipes for your EMS success. Microwave Medic is produced by EMS Office Hours, the live online podcast for EMS professionals. Hey, Jim Hoffman here for Microwave Medic. One thing we have issues with in the EMS, especially at the paramedic level, are EKGs and artifact. Some things we can't control, things like vehicle movement or patient movement. But there are things we can't control, and three things come to mind primarily. One are the EKG leads themselves. I see a lot of people often, they'll take those EKG leads, roll them up in a tight little ball, and stick them into the monitor carrying case. What does that do over a period of time? That winds up actually pinching the EKG wires and that's inside the casing that oftentimes we don't even see happening. So when you're putting that stuff away in your EKG monitor case, try to put them into a, into a loose configuration, maybe a figure eight type configuration, and put them into your carrier case that way to keep them loose without avoiding any type of pinching going on. And pay attention especially to the connecting ends of the EKG lead when you're putting it away. That'll help you avoid any problems with communication between the EKG monitor and the patient when you have the leads hooked up. Another thing we have to look out for too are the limb placement. And when I say limb placement, the EKG leads themselves are meant to go on the limbs. They're called limb leads. So put them on the limbs first. Then, if the patient's condition or size warrants and you have to move the EKG leads around, then you can to get a better reading. But start out at the limbs. That's what the monitors are designed for, the leads are de designed for, and that's the way that the conduction is going to go and help you get a better EKG reading and avoid the artifact. Finally, are the EKG electrodes themselves, the EKG pasties. Too many people wind up taking a nice bag, stuffing them full of EKG pasties. We have 50, 60 pasties in the bag, and they're all sitting in there getting dried out, getting stuck together, and that's going to wind up hindering the EKG gel when it's adhering to the patient. You want a good connection to the patient when you have on these EKG leads. So try to take your EKG electrodes directly from the packaging. Many manufacturers nowadays have the EKG leads, EKG electrodes inside individual packaging where you've got three or four per package. So then you can just tear open the package, you know it's fresh, you know the contact gel is going to be fresh, and you're going to get the best possible contact to the patient's skin, helping to avoid any artifact reading. Hopefully these three things that I've mentioned will help you avoid as much artifact as possible and help you be able to determine whether you're looking at a normal sinus rhythm or VTAC. This is Jim Hoffman for the Microwave Medic. As always, stay safe.